Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I'm sharing with you a fall Trader Joe's haul. So I went to Trader Joe's earlier today and they had everything fall out. The lady that worked there did tell me that they were getting another shipment tomorrow. So very exciting. They still have a lot of fall things. There was a couple of things that I was looking for that I didn't find and I assumed they were like already out of stock. And so when I was checking out, I asked um, the lady at the register and she said that she hadn't saw them either. So when I get there, I'll let you know. I'm going to go ahead and insert the footage of me at Trader Joe's earlier and show you some of the things. I took some shots of things that I didn't end up buying because I knew we wouldn't eat, but they still looked really neat. So just enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with just a couple of things that aren't necessarily fall, but they're things that I like to pick up at Trader Joe's. Um, the first of which, sorry, these are crunchy, are these Trader Joe's Bomba Puff Peanut and Corn Snacks. They look like this, I got two bags. I think they're like 1.99 or something like that. Um, but I like picking these up because the same ones at Walmart that are like Elmo brand are like four and $5 a bag, so my toddler loves these. I also picked up some Cheddar Rockets we love these. They're pretty much goldfish, but in cheddar rocket shape form. I picked up two bags of these glazed vanilla bean scones. These are so delicious. If you've ever had the ones from Starbucks, these are better. So I didn't know what to expect last time and I only grabbed one bag and me and my son were like, we're devouring these. They're so good. Also picked up some Trader Joe's veggie straws. I actually haven't grabbed these there before, but everybody raves about them and I'm sure they're delicious. Needed some for my toddlers. And then, and then I was in the bread aisle and I bought these because, I mean, they just looked absolutely delicious. I can't wait to have a sandwich on those this week, so that's why I got that. Also, I've never bought fruit and vegetable wash there either, but I picked this up, formulated to remove waxes, pesticides, and chemicals. I feel like I wanted to use it, so I bought it. So now getting into the fall things. Uh, well, okay, hold on, let me explain. I was looking for some fall-themed coffee and this says select harvest on it and I was like oh and I picked it up and then the more I'm looking at it I'm pretty sure it's just like select harvest of the coffee bean it's not like harvest related because it's just a 50 50 blend of a medium roast and a light roast I can't pronounce a lot of those words we need a coffee it's whole bean I don't think it's actually fall <laughs> but I did try I tried Okay, so something that is food, but not for me. I picked up these pumpkin recipe dog treats. I've gotten these before, Nora loves them. They're pretty simple ingredients, and I don't know, it was fun. Something fun for the dog. We'll do the food first, and then I'll get into the couple of non-food items that I picked up. These are the only cold things that I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and go throw these in the fridge. I picked up the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. This says thin stuffed pasta with cheesy pumpkin filling. I don't know that I'll necessarily love this, but I thought it was worth a shot and it's really cute. It's like different, it's yellow and orange. I think maybe put this with some, I don't know, what would you serve this with? Like put Alfredo sauce on it or maybe just some olive oil? Will it take that? I don't know, we'll try it out, we'll see. This is, I don't think it's actually fall themed, but it's new. Um, and the lady that was putting this stuff out was like, all these are new, they're so good, you have to try them. So I picked these up as well. Brussels sprouts and uncured bacon ravioli. These look delicious. Thin stuffed pasta with Brussels sprouts, uncured bacon, cheese, and caramelized onions. Yes. So I picked up a couple of different baking mixes. I cannot wait to use these. I like doing different recipes during the fall months, but sometimes I get like lost on Pinterest and I go down this rabbit hole and then before I know it, I'm like, I don't know, like planting a garden. So sometimes it's good for me to just have the baking mix, like you just make the box and you move on. So that was kind of my thought when I picked these up. But I picked up the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I've saw these before. Super simple, just add eggs, oil, and water. I'm sure it'll be good. I have not saw this before, so please let me know if this is new, but it looks amazing. Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. 
and it's in the cutest little tin, but it's super simple. All you need is a package of this, a large egg, a stick of softened butter, and then two tablespoons of water. So I'm really excited. I cannot wait to try this as well. Okay, and then this one isn't, so it's a mix, but anyway, so the pumpkin, pancake and waffle mix. I'm excited to use this because I have a ton of those little, um, like the mini waffle makers and some of them are for the season. So this will be super fun to make. Maybe before school, most likely on a weekend. Okay, so I also picked up the pumpkin flavored Jojo's. If you've never tried their Jojo's, it's pretty much their version of an Oreo. Um, and these are the pumpkin, this is pumpkin flavored sandwich cream cookies with other natural flavors. What does that mean? I can't wait to try these. They're always so good every year. I'm sure it's the same thing. This, I've never picked these up before. This pumpkin walks into a bar. I absolutely love, love these bars. These are so good if you have kids. They're very similar to Nutrigrain bars. I haven't had the pumpkin ones, but I've had the apple and the strawberry and they're all just really good. So we'll definitely try those. Okay, this, there's a story here. This is organic pumpkin spice granola bark. I mean, doesn't it look delicious? Yes, it looks so good. Pumpkin spice flavored granola layer with dark chocolate and topped with toasted pumpkin seeds. We're gonna try this because I saw this in the store. I read the whole thing of it and I was like, will we eat that? I don't know. I'm gonna pop it in my car so I don't forget about it. And then I'll decide if I'm gonna buy it. And spoiler alert, it came home with me. Um, I, I totally forgot about it when I was checking out, so I ended up buying it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oops, hello. This is what it looks like. Actually, it looks very delicious. It's very seedy on the, it's very seedy on the bottom, so let's try this out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, this is delicious. So it's not super, sweet because the dark chocolate on the top that's really really good this is good for like if you need like a you know if you've had a meal and you kind of want something sweet after you're craving something sweet this isn't too sweet it has a ton of flavor it does have the pumpkin spice flavor but not much like it's just kind of in the background which is kind of my favorite moving on i picked up two different teas i see this one every year the harvest blend herbal tea it's caffeine free super cute picked that up for a friend i picked up this one for a friend as well but i don't think it's caffeine free and i don't know how to say that pumpkin spice ruibos i don't know i'm sure you guys know more than me but it looks beautiful comes in a little tin super fun for fall oh my goodness i'm i'm real excited about this one so if you guys remember last year which the lady told me that they're gonna come back out with the one from last year, but it'll be closer to Thanksgiving, so I'll have to keep my eye out. But they came out with like a maple syrup butter. Do you remember that? I don't know. I still have some in my fridge. So good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. But I didn't find that today. I found cinnamon bun spread. Um, For real. A rich, gooey, honey butter base spread with cinnamon bun spices. I'm just, let me just, let me just make a suggestion, okay? If you just, a suggestion. Can we just, can we, can we just say, like, suggestion? Seems like it would be really good. Also, I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> I think I was just like, ooh, all the fall stuff. This is not my jam, okay? Not my jam. It's the apple cider fruit spread. And it is, we combine chunks of sweet apples, tart apple cider, and the perfect amount of fall spice to create this delicious apple cider fruit spread. It's wonderful on toast pastries or used in, or used to spike up, or used to spice up a pork or chicken recipe. So maybe that's the direction that I'll go. I see in there, it's got like chunks of fruit. It actually looks like it would be really good. Maybe on toast, maybe I'll try it, okay? Maybe I will. This is more like my husband and my son's jam. They love apple butter, so I think that's what, I was thinking when I picked this up that it's more like an apple butter. We'll try that out. Okay, I also picked up two soups and I'm really excited about these. They look, they look beautiful. The jar just itself, like the design, the packaging is stunning. The first one is this pumpkin bisque, a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. It looks beautiful if you can see that, like on a rainy day. Um, not necessarily a cold day here in Florida, but on a rainy day, that looks like it would be so good with some toast. 
Um, just so good. And then this one, I feel like I've saw this before, autumnal harvest soup, a creamy tomato-based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. That looks so delicious as well. You can tell it's more um, tomato-based. These are the two together. They look so good. I cannot wait to try those. I also, so a couple of years ago now, I picked up this pasta sauce. I, a couple of years ago now, I picked up this pasta sauce and I never ended up using it and it went bad. And I felt so bad about it because I was like, what a waste, you know, which we've all done that before. It is what it is. But I picked it up again with all intentions of actually enjoying it this season. But it's the Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce made with pumpkin and butternut squash. So these are kind of similar to me. They kind of remind me of each other, even though one is a pasta sauce and one is a soup. But this is just what it looks like. I feel like it would be super fun. You know how at like Marshalls and Home Goods, they always have those artisan pastas that are sometimes different shapes and things. So if I could find some pumpkins or something autumnal and put that on there, how cute for like a fun kids lunch or even just an adult lunch as well. These, I picked up two of these. I believe they're, yeah, I was like, they better be exactly the same because that's what I wanted. But this is just their spiced cider. It looked really good. So my thought, juice blend from ripe whole apples, apple juice concentrate, and other added ingredients. So it's probably, you know, not like the cleanest thing ever, but it's fine. I picked up two of those. My intention is to have one here at the house um, just for us to enjoy, but then also I wanna take one to Thanksgiving. I think it'd be fun to throw it in a pot with some um, fruit and maybe some cloves and um, cinnamon stick or whatever. Just like have like a nice little pot of apple cider, hot apple cider. I thought that would be fun. The best laid plans. We'll see what happens. I also picked up, I think I get these every year. They're so fun. They're just the fall leaf um, corn chip, corn tortilla chips. They're just, they're fall shapes. So I think these are super fun to throw in a kid's lunch box. They're also fun to just eat. It's just a regular tortilla chip. But then they also had these pumpkin tortilla chips. Crafted with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So these look super interesting and I thought that would be just interesting to try. So I'm about to try those and then this, these chips I wanted to try with some salsa and I was looking in the salsa aisle, not expecting to find this, but I saw pepita salsa and I was like, hey, I know that pepitas are pumpkin seeds and sure enough, I found this. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. A bright and balanced salsa with tomatoes, chopped pepitas, and spices. Pairs well with just about anything from tacos to grain bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna try this out. First, I'm gonna try these pumpkin tortilla chips. It says that they have, it says that they have pumpkin spice in them, so I don't know if that would be the best thing. I love they don't, they don't smell like anything different. Here's what it looks like. literally tastes like a tortilla chip <laughs> with no salt. All right, so let me grab my fall leaf tortilla chip. Which one should we pick? After this, I'm gonna show you some, but all right. Got my pepita salsa. It smells like salsa, but also something else. What does this smell like? All right, got a little bit, we're going in. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Holy cow. Oh, but it's got a kick. Oh yeah, kick and a half. Holy cow, wow. Okay, so I will say this is absolutely delicious, such good flavor, but it's definitely like when you go to a Mexican restaurant and they put mild or hot salsa on your table, that's the hot salsa, whoa. Okay, the last few things that I have to share with you are not food items, but they were fun finds. I grabbed some flowers. I feel like it's such a staple to grab flowers at Trader Joe's. I just have some seeded eucalyptus. I love this. I, it's just so pretty. And then I grabbed these, which it just says fall accent. So if you know what kind of flowers these are, just let me know. I picked them up because first of all, they're very interesting and then they were just fall colors. So I thought that they would be pretty together. Also pretty dried, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can dry these. Okay, the last three things that I picked up, one of these I've had before and I loved. It's their pumpkin body butter. 
Their body butter, the coconut one, is great in general. I think they have another one for the springtime. I can't remember what it is. I did grab this pumpkin body butter one because I just love that idea. The fall months are coming. You have drier skin because of the drier weather. You need some lotion and it's luxurious body butter made with coconut oil, shea butter, and pumpkin seed oil. This isn't too like overly fall scented, so I like that a lot. Like I said, I've used it before and it's really good. All right, then I picked up this cute little pack. It's absolutely adorable. This is the Vanilla Pumpkin Hand Soap and Hand Lotion, and it comes together like that. This was like $7.99. I picked this up. I only grabbed one of them, and now I'm kind of kicking myself. Like, maybe I'll go back and grab some more because that's a great teacher gift. Super simple. It's already pretty much packaged. Like, throw a little bow on top. Um, maybe pop some candy inside, and there you go. You can give that for um, the fall season. I love grabbing... This is a side note. I love grabbing um, all of their different candies and things at Christmas time to give as teacher gifts as well because you can get some really good deals on those and they're perfectly packaged just as is to hand out as a gift. Okay, the last thing that I picked up actually surprised me quite a bit because I've shared quite a few times on my channel that I am not a fall scent kind of girl. I do not enjoy like pumpkin pecan waffle and all of those like really warm rich scents that are popular around fall time but I smelled this candle because I'm like I'm here I might as well smell <laughs> smell the different stuff they had another one I think it was apple cider or apple something or other it smelled pretty good I just I'm not really an apple person either but this one is the vanilla pumpkin scented candle I originally picked it up because I thought I would put these I thought I would put these together but I think I might just give that and keep this here I really like it even though it is kind of a warm scent it's not a sugary scent if that makes sense so I it doesn't say what the notes are nope made with natural soy wax lead free cotton wick in case you're wondering vanilla pumpkin scented candle it's actually packaged so really cute yeah, it just smells really good. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope that you'll subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming fall content. And I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.